Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be doing a mixed media project using pink ink design stamps and the one I will be using is called Mel's Angel. So here I am placing a piece of jeans fabric to my stamp platform and I'm going to use the pink ink stamp, here it is. And this is all the stamps that you get with this one. I am using my Onyx Black Versafine ink pad to stamp this image onto my jeans fabric. I am going to be using my Derwent Ink Tents blocks for this project and I'm just using some water on a brush just to wet my jeans fabric and I will then add some colour to it. So here I'm just adding the yellow to my background. I won't show you the whole process of this as it took quite a few days to do and I will just skip forward in some areas. I'm now using my Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder Sun Yellow and I've put the powder onto my jeans fabric and sprayed it with water. It didn't move as much as I thought it was going to so I'm here I'm having to add some extra water to get the powder to mix up. So this is the next day when the fabric is all dried and I'm using my Derwent Colour Soft Blocks again and this time I'm using a light brown to do the biker's hair and beard. So each time I do a different colour I'm actually drying the fabric out so that the colour that I've already put down will stop bleeding and it won't move any further.
I am now adding the blue colour for his jacket and I'm using the paint that I've mixed up direct onto the fabric without adding too much water so that it doesn't bleed out over the lines. I am using a skin tone graph master alcohol pen for his face and his hands. You can use any type of alcohol marker for this. So here I'm using some different coloured browns to his hair and his beard just to make the hair look a bit more realistic. So here I'm using a light purple and I'm just going to use my blender pen to um, feather the colour out just to add a bit of a shadow. I'm using my Uniball Signo pen, this one is the silver one, just to add a chrome finish to some of the motorbike. I'm also using the white Uniball Signo pen to add some dots to his headscarf. I then put my fabric into an embroidery hoop and do some chain stitching on different parts of the bike. Next I am using my Unipin fine line marker just to do the handlebars of the bike.
I am now using my Picket Fence Distress Paint, which is a white, and I'm using this over the top of the marker pen that I used as the white Signo ball pen. The white was just sinking into the black and disappearing. Here I'm using my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils to add some colour to the lights. I've also added some colour to some strips of fabric which I'm going to sew around the outside edge of my picture to add a border. I'm using my Onyx Black Versafine ink and one of the stamps that come with the set. This one is the tyre mark and I'm just adding this around the outside edge of my border and in a moment you'll see that I actually do one um, stamping the wrong way round which is just coming up here it's completely backwards to the rest but it doesn't matter I can hide that later with some flowers So here I'm just stamping out some flowers onto another piece of the jeans fabric and I'm using my Derwent Ink Tents blocks to colour the flowers. I am using a double sided sheet of adhesive and I'm sticking one side to a piece of cardboard and then I will take the other side off and lay my jeans fabric over the top. Because the jeans fabric is quite bulky I have added some extra bits of cardboard on the back of my piece so that the back is the same level and I am now adding a piece of ribbon so that it has something to hang from and I am adding a black piece of card to finish the back off. Thank you. 
So moving on to my flowers which I stamped onto the jeans fabric, I am adding a 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water to the back of the flowers so that when they are dry I can cut them out and the fabric will not fray. So this is the next day and the glue has dried nicely on the fabric and it has given the flowers a bit of a curl which is good. So I have cut them all out. I then use my Derwent Colour Soft pencils just to add a bit more colour to the flowers. I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the flowers to the wall hanging and I'm just using my bone folder and my fingers just to manipulate the fabric to curl it up so it looks more three-dimensional. Next I am using my Creative Expressions 3mm pearls and I am using a bit of the Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue on the back of these so that they stay stuck to them. They are self-adhesive but sometimes the glue on the back is not strong enough for fabric. I then use my glossy accents and I'm going to add this to the headlights so that they look like glass. You then have to leave the glossy accents overnight to dry. So this is the next day when the glossy accents have all dried and as you can see it now looks like the lamps have actually got glass in them. It's close up so you can see some of the stitching as well. And that is this project all finished. As usual, if you would like to buy any of the products I have used in this video, they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. If you are watching on Pink Ink's channel, links to their website and more will be in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to Pink Inks, click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.